Okay, now I'm gonna share with you how to take best care of your clocks uh, so that they go the distance for you and are awesome for you the whole two years that they are guaranteed and probably far, far beyond that. What you wanna do when you wash them is just throw them into the washing machine. You can wash them with anything that doesn't have a lot of lint, like your sheets. Um, that's a great time to wash them. Also, what you wanna do is uh, maybe wash them about once a week to every week and a half. It's going to depend on how uh, often you use them and what you're using them with and what areas of your home you're cleaning. Uh, when you wash them, you want to use a good eco-friendly detergent. We make an awesome detergent that's going to really give you the best life out of your cloths. It's going to protect them and uh, keep them working just as they should all around your home. The reason our detergent is so great is because it doesn't have any fragrances or fillers. There's nothing extra or unnecessary in this detergent. So a little goes a really long way. And we are a global company, and so the measuring on the back is not necessarily going to work with your high efficiency machine. Um, so what you want to do is get a teaspoon, and you're only going to need one teaspoon of the detergent in a full load of laundry in a high efficiency machine. So you're going to want to throw an extra teaspoon in the bag or measure it one time and then mark with a sharpie um, where that level line is and then from then on you'll know how much to use. Um, a big bag, the regular bag, is going to last you about 200 loads so it's a very economical choice. If you have sensitive skin it's going to be awesome for you. It's going to clean your clothes as well as your cloths and it's not going to leave them crunchy. Um, out of the dryer uh, and irritating your skin. So um, this is great stuff. Now when you dry them, you're going to throw them into the regular dryer, but you don't want to use any dryer sheets or fabric softener with these cloths. Those chemicals are uh, designed to coat the fibers and then they're going to block the silver. Your cloths are not going to work the way that they're intended to. They're not going to clean your home nicely. They're not going to want to absorb and they're going to get stinky. So no dryer sheets. They're actually the second most toxic item in our home. So if you can make the change to move away from those, it's going to be awesome for your cloths as well as for your health. So if you're not using dryer sheets, you're going to want to switch to dryer balls. These are um, wool, 100% wool, and if you don't do wool, we have plastic options as well. Um, but these are great. You can add a little essential oils to them so that um, they add a nice scent to your laundry if you like. Um, your laundry smelling. Of course, clean really has no smell, but if you enjoy that, you can add that. These are going to bounce around in your dryer. They're going to separate the clothes. They're going to allow more air circulation, so you need less drying time and a lower temperature. So not only are these going to last you, you don't have to repurchase them, um, they're going to save you money in your drying clothes as well. These will last you a thousand loads. I don't know if I said that yet, but if not more than that. So that's a great investment as well. That's the easy way to keep your cloths clean. Now every three months you're going to want to do what we call a spa bath. And what that is, it's like a deep soak for your cloths to really allow them to release. We're going to hypersaturate them with really hot water. So you're going to pull a pot of water up to boiling, turn off the heat, you're going to drop in detergent, and out in Arizona we have really hard water. So if you have hard water, you might want to add a couple extra things baking soda and vinegar, and th those in addition to the uh, detergent, you're going to swish it all around and let it sit there for a couple of hours until it cools down enough for you to be able to get your hands in there and touch it. Your water's going to be real murky, and that's awesome because it means that your cloth has released everything that's been holding on to. If you've cleaned up something sketchy um, human body wise, you might want to do that as well with your cloths just to make sure that, that you're all good to go. Um, but yeah, every three months you want to do the spa bath and other than that, uh, just the regular washing is good enough.